Hello, students. Uh, can I get a confirmation from you all in the chat box? If the sound is audible and you can see me as well in the screen. So, uh, students, now today we are going to do the financial analysis. Now, in the previous class, we went through the strategic analysis and we understood how this industry works. What are the strengths and what are the weaknesses in this industry? What are the opportunities? What are the threats in these industries? And we just conditioned our mind in more into a strategic level aspect of thinking. Now, students, in today's class, we will effectively focus on the application of the ratios. Now, students, this calculations is already done. That is, firstly, we have gone through the growth analysis. Now, how do you calculate the growth analysis is very simple. That is, students, you compare the change. That is, 2022 to 2023, there is a difference, right? 15,000 to 16,000, there's a growth. And percentage of that growth is only growth analysis. So I believe it is clear for you all. And we know the beta here is 0.88. Now, students, specific risk is less. That is the idea. The objective of this, I will just prove it in the calculation also. Now, students, the revenue. Now, if you observe the revenue growth is 6.38 and here it is 5.26 between Broto. Now, obviously, that is correct. The reason behind that why it is correct is now, students, if you observe the industry, they have effectively given us in the following order. Safewell and Broto. Do you observe, students, there is a gap. Safewell is again doing far better than Broto. But if you observe the Groba facilities, there is no indication in the case study. Can you just make a note about that? So I'll write down here. The industry leader is Groba. Correct, no students. The industry leader is Groba. There is no information. There is, there is no information. No information. Despite, despite their dominance. Despite their dominance. Students, if you observe, do you feel there is a domination? Because you observe here, this green color line you are seeing here, you can observe. They are leading the industry far, far away compared with all of us. And students, you can also observe one thing. If you hear the services that we give also differentiate. Because students, if you observe this Resumto, Visco, Poldo, all these tiny, tiny firms, what happens is students, they are giving services which are limited. Now, if you observe our company, we are having far better services comparatively. So students, can I quickly get a confirmation from you all in the chat box if you are clear with that? Because Groba facilities, no information is given. Because students, if you observe, these two, we can effectively say there is a comparing factor, right? But if you observe Groba, there is nothing given. So revenue growth is 6.38 and 5.26. And we can just see the profit also, that is 10.73. Because you need to compare the revenue growth with the profit. So I'll just highlight this. So this is the revenue growth. And if you observe here, this is the total profit growth. So you can effectively see 6.38 and the profit is just 10.73. But you observe our competitor students, he somewhere around 5.26 and if you observe our business uh, that is their business they are effectively somewhere around 15.05 so students do you observe they have a better cost control compared with us can i get a confirmation there because students the revenue growth is only 5.26 but the profit growth is relatively higher compared with us so although we are having a better revenue growth our profit growth is very minimalistic compared to their one. Can I get a confirmation from you all in the chat box, students? Because a biggest challenge that we have to observe is this operational profit. Students, do you see this operational profit that is effectively higher for us, right? Because you observe the operational profit here, 5.74. And you see their operational profit, operational cost is also a little lower. And then students finance costs, actually both the companies have not borrowed any new loan. So in that case, the finance cost remains the same. And even if you observe the operating profit is also given. Now, one weakness of the financial statements. 
Now, students, you observe these financial statements properly. Revenue, then they are giving operating cost and then operating profit. Now, students, the biggest challenge is what about the operating cost breakdown? Where does the administration cost go? Where does the other cost go? Now, that is a bigger challenge for us in doing the estimation. So, can I just write down and one more note here? Breakdown of operational cost. Breakdown of operational cost. Of operational cost is not provided. Is not provided. Now, it's again a bigger challenge for an analyst to understand why they have not provided those things. So, that is also one factor that you have to keep in mind. So can I get a Y in the chat box again, students, if you are clear with that? Because we have to make our own assumptions in this case when coming to this. So I believe everyone is very, very clear. So what I will do with students, I will just write down here so that it will be very, very easier for you all to understand. So the first thing I'll write down here is the revenue growth, the revenue growth, the revenue growth, is comparatively is comparatively is comparatively higher than if you observe broto it is higher than broto correct no students now if we observe here however the net profit growth is effectively less is effectively less is effectively less now, that is one more factor to be considered. Now, one thing I can say is the securities, the securities, the securities of safe well, the securities of safe well are paid higher than the industry rate, higher than the industry rate. Students, can you remember that it was clearly mentioned that the securities in uh, CE well is paid higher than the industry rate? Can I get a Y in the chat box, students, if you are clear with that point of view because we are paying higher than the industry rate therefore therefore in that case in that case in that case in that case the quality may be higher the quality may be higher compared compared with broto compared with broto compared with broto so that is one factor students to be considered now students the next thing, I'll just write it down so that it will be easier for you all to understand also. Further, further, the other services, other services are also provided like intelligent-led security or intelligent-based intelligent -based security rather than on-site also. So we do that also as well. So in that case, this is one factor to be considered. Now, students, I'll just consider all these things together. So I'll write it down so that it will be very clear. Therefore, therefore, the challenge associated, the challenge associated in this case, a value analysis of the service we provide. For instance, for instance, Certain services we may provide may not add value to the client. Therefore, in that case, it is a bigger challenge. It is a what students? Bigger challenge. So, so students, can I get a confirmation from you all? in the chat box students now that is one challenge no students because value analysis we have not done we are giving so many services and there will be a situation of a value analysis to be considered so that is one factor we can just discontinue the operation something like that but if you observe in this case we can clearly observe that our quality level is perfect and also we can observe one thing students there are some operational cost issues so one thing i'll just write down here remuneration policies of the directors not disclosed remuneration policies remuneration policies of the directors not disclosed of the directors of the directors not disclosed so students can i write down within brackets as a corporate governance issue because now we are in the higher order so there will be some corporate governance issues also like how are they remunerated 
how are they added to the company so all those things are very very critical so that is one factor to be considered at the moment with regards to the growth in the performances now in the property plant and equipment students now what has happened is our property plant and equipment there's a 33 percent growth and students if you observe this 33 percent growth that means from 998 it has effectively come to 1337 now students one thing that you have to keep in mind we don't have a revaluation reserve do you see share capital currency reserve retain earnings do we have a revaluation no since we don't have a revaluation in this case we can assume these are acquired property plant and equipment students can i get a why in the chat box students can i get a why in the chat box because there is a acquisition of property plant and equipment because there is no revaluation reserve are you understanding that students because if if there is a revaluation reserve that means the company has effectively recalculated and adjusted the figure according to the market rate so i'll write down here the property plant has a significant growth compared with proto this can be mainly due to expansion and i can say international expansion as well and investment in new facilities and technologies but for bruto there is no such significant changes so that is one thing goodwill no change so i'll write down here there is no acquisition of a company there is no acquisition of a company because students goodwill will increase only where there is a business combination so i'll write down here within brackets no business combination no what students business combination can i get a, a confirmation from you all in the chat box students if you are clear with that students because that is very 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 important in this case there are no business combination okay i i believe that is very clear for you all at the moment now intangible assets are falling down and i think here students you can feel it there is an investment there is a decline in the intangible asset so i can generally say there may be amortization of licenses which may be acquired long time ago which may be acquired long time ago because that is the reason it is falling down that is clear no students also 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 one more factor to be considered can be the investment in property plant and equipment is mainly because of compliance regulation can be that also compliance regulation because there may be some spot check something like that so that is one more factor to be considered so i believe that is also clear now trade receivable students you see there is a increment only of 2% and one note i can write it down there is no inventory now i'll write down here students a note for you all in a different color pen no inventory no inventory in this business no inventory in this business in this business the reason why there is no inventory is service driven business because this is a service driven business so no inventory is there i believe that is very very clear for the students at the moment so trade receivable there's a slight growth bank balance there's a growth borrowing no changes and trade payable also there's a growth so i'll just write down here 
I'll just merge it out so that it will be easier for you all. The trade payables, the trade receivables, the trade receivables and payables and bank balance indicates that safe well is growing in the market there is growing because they are expanding also no students they have 74 countries also growing in the market as well so that is one factor to be considered there's a growth in this case but remember one thing there is no inventory at the moment students because that is very very important that the student needs to understand this is purely a service driven business again i'm repeating here students this is purely a service driven business i i believe everyone is very much clear with that point of view purely a service driven business students can i get a confirmation from you all in the chat box if you are fine with this so the conclusion we will come to that later but the ideation here is we are having a superior quality we are having better services maybe and also students effectively we can say that our company needs to disclose more information also in this particular situations now let's come to the ratio analysis students now if you observe in this case we don't have gross profit margin we are directly going with operating profit margin and one biggest challenge is the cost breakdown of these things are not provided so we have to make our own assumption and make it now if you observe our operating profit margin is slightly better than or greater than broto the reason is we are second in the market and we may have a better service also compared with broto i can just write down here tefel is having a better operational profit margin compared with broto things there is a better service and also strong establishment as well because this is a strong establishment students very strong establishment now net profit margin students if you observe again the same thing i can say the net profit margin is also the same compared with broto compared with broto now students there is a big risk the risk there is a risk now i'll tell you what is the risk here now you observe in this case they are saying safewell and broto security frequently compete with the same assignments students do you see this they frequently compete with what students same assignments can i can i get a confirmation from you all in the chat box students if you can observe that students they are frequently competing with each assignments can i get a confirmation from you all in the chat box students if you observe that sentence thank you now students you observe that it is the biggest risk the biggest risk in this case is marginal differences are there they are indirectly competing with us on price do you observe that students there is a direct competition with price so i'll write down here broto is directly competing with price is 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 directly competing with price is directly competing with price in simple language what are they doing students what are they doing students penetrating penetrating can, can i get a un understanding there therefore therefore in that case therefore in that case in that case in case if in case if safe well in case if safe well has an issue has an issue with clients they may switch they may switch to home students they may switch to whom to broto are you understanding that challenge we are facing that is a biggest challenge that we are facing are you getting that point of view that means broto is competing with us on price the only survival thing that we have is differentiation with quality uh, trust and then reliability the service reliability all these things are very very important especially in the security industry 
now students can we go to the next one can i get a y in the chat box students if you are fine with that can we go to the next one students yeah the roc now students the advantage you see here this is now until now so these two i will just i'll just make it it is easier for you all this one is profitability ratio now all these are profitability ratios all these are profitable the green color one is purely profitability ratio now students you see roc is 50% you see even here roc is 50% that means it's a good return for the investors or the providers of fund the reason is students the yield is very high compared with the investment needed so i'll write down here since this industry has less overheads less overheads less what students overheads now i'll just make it even simple for instance no inventory no inventory for instance no inventory holding no inventory what students holding are you understanding that perspective there is no inventory holding in this can i get that point there so therefore 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 the beta is lower the beta is lower the beta is lower since there is a higher return higher return provided the company has good systems provided the company has good systems provided the company has good systems students can i get a y in the chat box students are you understanding 50% margin industry 50% margin industry but their risk is also high because downside risk something wrong happens compensation is also high now asset turnover students you see we don't have much of a inventory or anything we are effectively using property planning with our basic building facilities all those tiny facilities and it's 3.3 times that means we are utilizing our assets three times the revenue that is based with our asset we can generate three times of the revenue and it's going with the industry term again i'll write down here students since the industry since the industry since the industry is service driven is service driven is service driven is service driven the efficiency rate is very high the efficiency rate is very high the efficiency rate is very high students can i get a confirmation from you all in the chat box students if you are clear with this can i quickly get a confirmation from you all in the chat box students if you are fine with that i believe that is very very clear for you all at the moment thank you thank you very much students thank you very much now students uh, gearing ratio now let's come to the gearing ratio it's not so complicated students now these are the leverage ratio so i can say the the financial structure ratios now in this case students if you observe our company has a better borrowing capacity because we are lower than 50% but our broto competitor is having a higher range of interest and even if you see the interest cover we have 13 times capacity to pay so we can use this because i told you there will be one question for sure in the examination which will be effectively focusing on which will be effectively focusing on financing decision so i'll write down here the company has a higher level of borrowing capacity higher level of borrowing what students capacity compared with broto compared with broto so in exams so in exams please remember to evaluate the options to evaluate the option that is debt and equity options evaluate the options because that is important and interest cover students the interest cover makes sure that safe well has a better payment terms and this looks very much prudent for the bank because it's very much very much prudent for the bank for the bank very much prudent for the bank current ratio students again remember one thing current ratio and quick ratio technically 2 is to 1 1 is to 1 but in these aspects students we cannot say there is any risk in this business or anything i'll write down here 
since I'll, I'll merge it together, students, because both are same. Since in this sector, there is no inventory. There is no slow moving inventory. Slow moving inventory. There is no slow moving inventory. There is no slow moving inventory. The current and the quick ratios are same. And since it is service industry, the traditional norm of two is to one and one is to one cannot be applied. Now, the next one is the working capital ratio students. Again, service industry, the advantage is students, you have a lot of uh, cash reserves because you don't have overheads like inventory. Now, see inventory, so I'll write down here. No inventory in this sector. No inventory in this sector. No inventory in this sector. Remember that students, no inventory in this sector. Receivable days students, there can be there can be a credit time for the clients to pay the dues that is 44 days and students since there is no inventory cash cycle cash cycle remains as receivable days Cash cycles remains as receivable days since it is having no inventory. No inventory. No inventory. I believe that is also fine for you. Now, in this case, the trade payables. Now, 74 days, 74 and 88 days. So, I'll write down here. The suppliers can be software service providers. and other service providers. And we, we have a good credit term. Now you see here students, we have money within 42 days and we have 74 days credit period. That means for 32 days, we have excess cash. So I'll write down here for a period of one month, we have excess cash. We have excess cash. For a period of one month, we have excess cash, meaning meaning, we can invest in short-term investments. Short-term investments. Short-term investments. That is also a possible chance. Now, this dividend payout, I'm telling that's a mistake by the examiner or that's just done for the exam purpose. This is investor ratio students. Now, here they are writing 89% and 86%. But the, the biggest challenge for us in this case is students, uh, is this a sustainable dividend payout? So I'll write down here, is this a sustainable dividend payout? Sustainable dividend payout. Because students, uh, I'll just recall that pre uh, the pre seen material. We have following options, no students. For example, I'll, I'll write it down. So one option we have is students, just to keep your mind very much open and clear is, uh, can you remember students, we had data reporting or digital reporting, forensic accounting. So one is digital risk. So I'll write down here, digital risk reporting. Okay, that is one strategic option. Forensic accounting. This is again one option. Correct, no students. Now, those things we can effectively see. And then students, other updates. So I'll write down here, other, other, other updates. So in this case, we have to understand that the business is having investment options. So there will be there will be negotiations. There will be negotiations on the payment terms, on the payment 
term students can i get a confirmation from you all in the chat box students if you are clear with all these things any questions you like to ask you can ask me but if you are fine with all these things can i quickly get a confirmation from you all in the chat box students so this is the overall understanding so remember one thing service industry no inventory intellectual knowledge is important and students one thing that you have to keep in mind there is a small change in the trend that is students uh, intelligence led security services may grow in the future because physical security services may decline because of cctv cameras all these things are coming into the picture the physical security will become automated and intelligence led security will grow that is one thing that we have to keep in mind overall we can understand everything is looking fine at the moment students but i believe everyone is very very clear with the services everything that is there so students i'll go for the one to one discussion any questions you like to ask you can ask me so i will start from dixita any questions you have dixita for the day i know madam any questions you have mr ibzal any questions you have rahul any questions you have mr raj any questions you have okay so students thank you very much so on the sunday class we will do the governance the risk and also students the strategic analysis to get a complete understanding and from next week onwards we will start with question practice and the technical revision coverages so i believe everyone is clear i will share this document to you all thank you very much students have a good evening take care